Hey, so this is, I'm so excited, one of my first cooking videos and I am making some spaghetti squash and ground turkey um, spaghetti. So here we go. Back. So I got a little bit ahead of myself. I am doing the ground turkey for the spaghetti um, squash spaghetti with ground turkey so i'm just adding some seasonings that i already have in my pantry paprika and cumin and some others that i already have a little bit of salt um, i got my carrots on boil and my beans are soaking overnight so I'm doing a little bit of meal prepping right now um, because it gets a little crazy during the week. So I'm trying to knock some things out on the weekend. And of course, it never looks perfect for me um, during the week when I meal prep. And it never looks perfect for me because sometimes if I'm out on the road and I have a meal and I can't warm it up and I have to plan you know how am I gonna do body body I always tend to make it work but I just prepare for the unexpected We got a little bit of bell pepper in here. I'm going to add some onions in a little bit as well. And now this is a healthy meal prep. Because <laughs> this weekend has been crazy. Had um, a party. A couple of parties recently. And so my cheat meals got a little bit excessive. So getting back to some healthy cooking. That's okay. We all need a little bit of comfort in our life from time to time. Food tends to serve that purpose. And with some other great things that you can do for yourself. Like I was saying earlier in the video, I used to love squash growing up because my aunt, she made it and it didn't taste like a healthy squash. It wasn't loaded with butter and sugar and all those bad things either, but I don't know how she cooked it. And unfortunately, she is deceased. She's been gone for quite a few years now. Um, she was one of those aunts that she would do to do things with some of us and take us places because she didn't have any kids of her own. Um, not sure if she didn't desire to have any kids of her own or if she couldn't have them, but she she didn't have any. She had lots of nieces and nephews. I'm going to go and grab some onions to throw in here right quick. All right, so I am going to start off with my spaghetti squash. I'm going to start off by peeling it. Um, so the first thing, let me do this the opposite way. The first thing is to get the tail off. So I think the easiest way, this is my first time doing this, actually cooking a squash. Growing up, I remember eating squash, fresh squash that my aunt and my grandmother would make, and it was so delicious. So I was just having a conversation with my mom, asking her for that recipe. 
And of course, she doesn't have it. So the best thing that I could think to do would be to just roast the squash. Because I'm not sure how my aunt made it taste so delicious. Okay. Again, this is my first time doing it. So I've pretty much just butchered it pretty well. Now I'm going to cut it down the middle. And this is a tough vegetable. It's really tough to get through. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes. Woo. Look at that. Finally got it open. Okay. So the next thing is to scoop out all of the insides. So I'm going to take a spoon and get as close to the flesh as I can and get all of the seeds out. And I'm going to do a little close up so you can actually see. It's the inside. I think I'm gonna actually save some of these, um, save some of the seeds for a later project. Let's go ahead and scrape this out, take our time. Use my plastic bag that I want to Put those on. I can see why they call it spaghetti squash because the flesh inside of it is already starting to string up like spaghetti. That's the first one. Okay, cool. Get to the second one. Yo. It is really stringy getting this out. It's not easy. Oh, man. Wow. All right. I think I've gotten just about the last of it out. Yep. That's it. This one was tough to peel. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them flat. Well, I'm gonna season them a little. A little pepper inside. Da -da 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 -da. a little sprinkle of salt um, I'm gonna take some canola oil just a little and rub some on so just like a cap full which is about a tablespoon and rub it on both of the squash then just drizzle the rest on it. As you can see this is none this is not very fancy none fancy none gourmet cooking okay 
Okay. And now I'm going to lay it flat. Lay it flat inside of the roasting pan. So there they are. Looks really pretty. I'm going to put those in the oven and I will be right back. Cool. This is the roasted spaghetti squash. And as you can see, I've been just scraping through it and it's basically coming out like spaghetti noodles. <laughs> pretty darn cool. The other one isn't quite ready yet. So I stuck it back in the oven, but I'm just digging this one out. So that is what we got so far. We ready. We ready, we ready. And this is how the um, the meat sauce has come out with the carrots inside. I like to bulk up mine with carrots and other kind of veggies. So this is the turkey, the ground turkey and veggies. Got the broccoli going, beans are soaking. That is the progress so far. I'll be back. So this is the finished product. And this is just one half of the spaghetti squash. So what I'm going to do is when the other half is done, I'll just freeze it because it wasn't enough meat sauce and I really don't like cooking that much and it goes to waste. But as you can see, it pretty much looks like lasagna, even though the spaghetti squash does not taste like lasagna. It tastes more of a, like a vegetable, but it's good. Um... I'm not going to have to feel bad about the calories. However, on the other hand, I am going to uh, add some cheese to it. So that will be a little bit of a treat because I always put cheese on um, spaghetti for myself and the kids. So I'm just adding a little bit of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese to it. And that is pretty much it the other half of the spaghetti squash is still in the oven there were some part parts of it that was not tender but this is pretty much it y'all it's a wrap that's it so that is my part of my meal prep uh, for the week is my spaghetti squash with ground turkey casserole. I got everything out of that squash. Everything. I didn't let anything go to waste. And still have another half in the oven. So that is it. I am so super excited. That was my first cooking video and there's more to come. Um, so I'm going to keep these going. Any um, thoughts or comments about what it is that you do for your spaghetti, drop a comment below in the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Until next time, take care.